Hello, I'm Arnold Gay. Welcome to Channel 9 News. The government called for a range of volunteers to come forward and help in the many relief initiatives. The government sets up a special centre to help relatives whose loved ones have gone missing after the killer wave struck. Another Singaporean child, three-year-old Trisha Ng, has been found dead. Generous donors, but relief agencies say cash is best. And every mother's nightmare, which child to save in a disaster? Channel I News with Arnold Gay. After four years in operation, the final issue of Streets, the first free sheet here, goes out tomorrow. After that, it will be incorporated with the Today paper that's run by Media Corp Press. And for the street staffers, it was brave smiles all around on their last day with the paper. They were also proud of the part they played in making the free sheet a staple with thousands of readers. The team has been great. Uh, 44 people total but producing you know, work way beyond multiples of uh, that. Change is not necessarily a bad thing, that they could be a little bit of pain, but for every door that closes, another one opens, and it may open to a whole new and even better vista. To commemorate the paper, tomorrow's copy will be a 100-page special edition bumper issue. In the market, Singapore share prices closed slightly higher today with selected gains among some blue chips. Take a quick break here, but still ahead on Channel 9 News, Arsenal stay within five points of Chelsea and Argentina take on Catalonia in a friendly. And finally, here's a recap of the main story. Singapore is doubling the amount of aid it's sending to disaster-hit areas. Five million dollars will now be given, including the two million which was first pledged. The government is also making an urgent call for volunteers to come forward and help in the various relief efforts now underway. Needed are doctors and nurses to join missions to affected countries. The man in the street can also come forward to help in the packing of supplies. And the government and relief agencies here say cash is the most practical form of donation right now and for more news updates check out the Straits Times interactive website and the address you see on your screens right now now that will do it for Channel 9 news tonight we hope you will join us again at 8 30 that's when we'll have our final bulletin here on Channel 9 news until then bye bye